Got a threaded on bathtub spout and while installing it accidentally mangled the finish. Wanted to show you the best tools to use to prevent mangling the finish when you install one of these. Sometimes you may need other tools to take one out. Good thing is the best tools you likely already Welcome have. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to have make the most likely grip. repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released right, for you. Got a tub here and it has a kind of space between more space than you want. What I have here is a spacer. There's a couple ways to do this. You can either get a different size nipple, a shorter nipple, or use a spacer. I'm going to use the spacer. And what I want to do is protect our finishes. I've got some giant channel locks here that should look good for this. Turn this out. This one's a threaded on tub spout. Yeah, as stated in the intro, it's better to use gloves than any channel locks, Two if possible. Styles out there. So, this one also looks kind of. Bent at any strange angle. <laughs> That's how this goes. Take some steps to protect the finish. Of course, the alternative to this is getting a different sized extension. I'm going to take off this caulking while I'm here. Extension's probably going to cover over that, so it's got this like foam deal. So that probably won't matter too much. Okay, and we're just going to pass this right through. Work out good, and then I'm going to wrap some Teflon tape around this. How to deal? I have Teflon tape. Uh oh. I'm going to have to go get some. Oh, I've got it.
you. Just a few turns around. In the turn around here, and it should be all set as long as everything goes correctly. far from perfect but it's gonna be it Must have been in there further than that. And that was the caulking wasn't even that built up, so.
it a little better. That's good. One more turn. That one. Okay, more of the finish a little bit. Darn it. I got the feel in, but that's not good. Some, lose some, I'll lose some for sure. But that plate worked good. <laughs> aye, aye. All right. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I mangled the, the finish there. So that's not going to work. I'm going to need to go for a round two here and these are better if you can just use your hands um, and a lot of times you know I've got these rubber gloves that have a pretty solid feel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out and hopefully the extension doesn't come back out but it's likely that it does so there we go it looks like hopefully it came right from the front we'll find out Yes, that's great. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I don't know why I was dreading this, <laughs> but it didn't it didn't loosen up from the back, so that's just great. And so what I do is wrap a little Teflon tape around this front one. <laughs> Truth is, I was dreading this a bit. I don't know why. 
it actually wasn't that bad. But it could be, it could be really bad. <laughs> so. With this, I think the best way to do this is only the hands. So we'll put a few turns of our Teflon tape on here. Skipping the first one or two threads. There we go. Here's one. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Oh, I'm a happy camper now. <laughs> So this way we can keep the finish protected. Just avoid cross threading. There we go, we got a nice straight start. Sometimes you need to get in the tub to get a nice, you know, straight on shot at it. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. Happy with this. A little bit more. There we go. Now our plate is on there, nice and sealed. That's great. And a nice finish. No more scratch. No more scratches. Yay. Now we'll just turn it on, make sure there's no leaks. Done deal. No more leaks. All right, and no more scratches. Uh, it's better with gloves. It's about the best tool. You, know, you can try a strap wrench. Very prone to slipping. You know, or wrenches. Not as good. I think my best method now is just the gloves. Sometimes they take an old one off. You may need tools, but putting the new one on, you really shouldn't need any tools other than the gloves and the hands. All right, thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance, over now. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Living through the message, reading through a message, passing through a message, writings on the wall. Time and tribulation, so much abomination, passing through a message. One